Hello and welcome to the latest disaster from your nearly favorite YouTuber, Mr. Beast. In the last dev log, the development was stumped by my charger exploding, and then a flooding happening, which prevents new charges from arriving, which was right after I went through a month trying to figure out a language that wasn't torturous after I spent a month trying to convert the game to Godot 4 just for it to not work on Android due to .NET Core experiencing a serious problem known as sucking. Which is quite the pickle. Now, for the first time ever, development actually went somewhere. If you don't know, this is Marquisa OS, a game about using a computer to make a revolution and stuff. Also I made a membership thing, if you go there you can see a video with more information. Anyways, if you watched the first devlog for whatever reason you might know that before the pickle, there was a really fancy file system that cost my sanity to be implemented. Well, this time I decided to not make it fancy, as that requires effort, so I instead made a file system that's just normal files and folders, but in a special folder. However that would still require effort to make the files app, so now the file system is just a list of every single file you ever downloaded. You call it, laziness, I call it, efficiency. You might be wondering, this system is written in C sharp like most of the game however Godot 3 requires GD script if you want custom scripts to show up in the add node dialog. Which is important since there's gonna be more than 5 files on the entire game available for download. How is Jimmy gonna overcome this issue? The answer is that I made a GD script script that calls a C sharp singleton. Now, if you look at the current logo, you might notice something truly flabbergasting, it looks like shit, and there's a stupid line I can get rid of. So I made a new logo, which is like the old logo but new. One missing aspect of the game is communication. When you become the president, the public's response shouldn't be, who the fuck is this guy, it should be, oh, this fucking guy. So first I made a Twitter clone called, Connect, which is like Twitter but there's zones, which only exists so I can play music. You can view top tier content, that can also have images, links, replies, and you can bookmark posts. Connect also features a highly sophisticated algorithm called the Ray.Shuffle. And there's emails, which work like emails, but also the browser and Connect have buttons for sharing stuff. I originally wanted a messaging app, however that annihilated my brain. And also now the game can analyze every move you make, but not for advertisements, but for deciding what happens, and what ending you get. There will be multiple endings. I also made a banking app with banking features such as banking, which is useful for when you need to bank. You might think development was going too well, and that's correct, because my OS decided to self-destruct. Here's a dramatic reenactment for absolutely no reason. Holy guacamole my charger arrived. Oh great it doesn't want to boot into Fedora. I guess I'm gonna install Nix OS, since I once saw a video about it from No Boilerplate. He should work with marketing. Oh great absolutely nothing works, it's also kinda annoying. I'm gonna reinstall Fedora but the GNOME version instead of the KDE one. I bought an adapter so I can use a really old monitor with my laptop with explosive tendencies. This isn't relevant to the plot, I just need to tell every single one of my 1.4 thousand subscribers about it. GNOME is kind of dog water, I'm gonna install KDE on top of my Fedora installation. Haha <laughs> I'm goofing around with KDE shit, let me try KDE vaults, I don't need this, so I'm gonna remove my KDE vaults vault. Did it just delete every single file in my home folder, although the folders are still there, although they have absolutely nothing in them. Maybe it actually tried to delete everything, and not just my home folder. I don't know, I should make a VM to test this. After this conundrum was settled, it was time to go back to developing this crap game. For some reason I tried learning how to make music, and while the new system sounds were good, the music wasn't so much. The last app I made was Marketplace, a place with markets. It's like Amazon, but worse. I also held my friend hostage so he could make this awesome 3D box image with a dumb logo on it. While I was coding the Marketplace app, I tried to make items you bought show up in the bank app. However, it didn't work, so I made it so it doesn't show up, and that's where the fraud comes into place. 
There's no clickbait. Also I made a new app launcher, and committed crimes against humanity to make translations work with all of this garbage. These features were the only left to be able to actually add content, so now I'm gonna add content, top tier lore, Shakespeare level writing, high octane gameplay. Here's a sneak peek, I actually wrote some of it while my charger was exploded. I hope you like this video, which is now, over.